The next rule we're going to talk about is raising things to negative powers. So let's remember that even if there's uh, nothing on the denominator over here, we can always assume that there's a 1 on the denominator to make that into a fraction. So if you have something raised to the negative power, essentially what happens is the entire term goes to the other side of the fraction. In this case, because the negative exponent's in the numerator, it would go to the denominator, and it just basically becomes positive. So the x to the negative a moves to the other side and then becomes x to the positive a. Here's an example. 4 raised to the negative 2. Now, there's no fraction bar here, so I'm going to go ahead and add one. And then we've got uh, the negative exponent has to be dealt with. So what we do is we take the 4 to the negative 2, and we send it to the other side, and it becomes positive 2. And there's nothing in the numerator anymore, so we'll put a 1. And then you evaluate. The 1 on top and 4 raised to the second power is 16 on the bottom. So 4 to the negative second is equal to 1 over 16.